It is quite a big and intense programme. It's over three years. The first year, the majority of what students are doing is theory, although they have uh, 200 practice hours. And then in the second year, it's about 50-50, uh, and in the third year, it's pretty much all practice with several large assignments for the students to get in. It's a four-year degree, but it's run over three calendar years, long years. The students start at the end of January and they work right through to the middle of December. We do have some breaks aligned with the primary school holidays, but they're really times for students to catch up on their work rather than actual holiday. Um, in any one week, a student probably works at least 40 to 50 hours, and when they're on call and they may be at a birth, then it's quite likely that it might go up to about 60 hours. So it's quite variable and a little bit difficult to identify each week or plan each week what it's going to be like, um, mainly because of the on-call aspect. Our programme is a four-year degree, which we deliver in three years. We deliver it by process of blended learning, and what that means is that students can actually stay at home while they do their degree, so they don't have to uplift their family and move to Dunedin for three years. And the way we do that is we have a series of satellites throughout the country. Whanganui, Palmerston North, Wellington in the North Island, Dunedin, Central Otago and Invercargill in the South Island. And students really apply to whichever satellite is the closest to where they live. So the idea is that the students can um, sit at home for a lot of their work. It's a flexible model, which means they can choose when they want to work around childcare or other work commitments. And we deliver it through a variety of processes. Blended learning is a, a, just a combination of different ways of um, looking at the content that's required in the programme. We've gone through and we've worked out what could students learn online on their own? What do they need to be doing in a discussion, reflective practice and so on in a small group? And what do they need to be doing face to face in a larger group? And that's bringing all of that together is really the blended program. We have intensives, so it's face to face. And then we also have a lot of online learning um, and online lectures and then practice-based experience. So you're in the community working with the midwife and you're also in the hospital doing placements. It's a really good blended model. The biggest advantage is that it's flexible and that people can stay at home in their home town wherever they live and not have to move to Dunedin and ideally we are educating midwives who are going to end up practicing in the communities that they live in so they get to know midwives and women in the area as they're doing their program. There's quite a lot of flexibility in the day to, to do the work when you want to do it or work at night if that's what you want to do. So it's easy enough to drop kids at school and actually then work right through the day and then pick them up again at three um, if you just dedicate yourself to doing the work. They can work at the hours that they want to work. They're not coming on site every day, nine to five, but there is still that amount of work at least involved in the programme. Because students are on call quite a lot, um, you know, the hours are, are quite irregular and it's a little bit hard to know what would be the average. It would probably be definitely more than 40 hours a week, somewhere between 40 and 60 hours a week probably. But there would be peaks and troughs during the year, times when they're out at a birth, they don't know how long that birth's going to be, when they're going to get home again, and other times when, when it's just a sort of a straight week of learning theory and doing their practice skills and so on, and they don't have any births to go to.